Dear Aunt Lucy, today I discovered the world is even bigger than I thought. It all started this morning. I was helping Mr. Gruber with a stock take, which is when you make a list of everything you have in a shop. An old book, another old book, a not so old book, another old book, a moth, a moth! Oh! 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 Burning dawn! Oh! What on earth is this? It's a globe, Paddington. The whole world. Well, I must say, it's incredible they managed to fit the whole world under this small ball. <laughs> yes, I suppose it is. <laughs> uh, watch this. There's Peru. <gasps> wow. <laughs> you can have this as a reward for helping me today. Why, thank you, Mr. Gruber. So, Aunt Lucy, I rushed home to show Jonathan and Judy the whole world. Here is London, and here, on the other side of the world, is my home country of Peru. Wow! If you were an explorer, you could dig a tunnel all the way through the Earth, and you'd pop out in Peru. Really? You couldn't really do that. Why not? Yes, Judy, why not? Well, for starters, it would take you ages to dig the hole. Not if you dug it really fast. But when you reached the center of the Earth, you'd melt. Hmm. I'm not sure I would want to melt. Well, you could go around the center of the Earth. But that would take even longer. That's why you would have to dig really fast. Well, there's only one way to settle this argument. Rock, Rock paper, scissors? scissors? No. I'm going to dig a hole to Peru. <laughs> What's so funny? Are you really going to dig a hole to Peru? Well, why not? I've not got much else on today. Paddington, I'm not sure it's possible. Aunt Lucy always says, you never know unless you try. Paddington's right. If he wants to, he should try. And if you're going to be an explorer, you need to dress like one. What do you think? Hmm, too red. Hmm. Too boaty, too medieval, too pointy, not practical. Oh, very fetching. Mm, too tight. I think Paddington had it right the first time. Well, it is an explorer's hat after all. It brought me safely from Peru, so hopefully it will take me back. Next, you're going to need an explorer's suitcase for your journey. Oh, quite right. What are you going to pack, Paddington? Well, I was going to fill it with marmalade sandwiches, in case I get peckish on the way. Hey, why don't you take these binoculars too? Oh, thank you. But what are they? Look through them. <gasps> oh, Judy! No, come back! We're not finished! Other way round, Paddington. Oh, oh that's much better. Take my camera, too. Are you sure? Yeah. You can take a photo to prove you made it to Peru. Good idea, Judy. Now, how does this work? Oh! <laughs> now you'll need something to protect your hands in case you touch the center of the Earth. Oh, because it's hot. Hmm. I think I have an idea. Mr. and Mrs. Brown, do you mind if I borrow your oven gloves? Oh, not at all. Great. Oh, and by the way, I'm going to Peru. Would you like me to get you anything? We're okay, thank you, Paddington. Okay. Cheerio! Did Paddington say he was going to Peru? I think he said he's going to the zoo. Oh, well, we definitely don't need anything from the zoo. One bear is quite enough. Oh, <gasps> the sandwiches! I almost forgot. Jonathan, Judy, I don't know how long my journey to Peru is going to take. So while I'm gone, please tidy my room once a week or Mrs. Bird will be cross. Please help yourself to my marmalade, but make sure to put the lid back on. Oh, and could you leave these seeds out for Pigeonton? He's a little bit greedy, so you have to pretend they've run out. Got it. Good luck, Paddington. We'll miss you. And I'll miss you too. <clears throat> I will see you when I see you. Goodbye. Oh. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Until we meet again.
Toodaloo! <sighs> do you really believe he can do it? I really, really want him to. This looks about right. What are you doing? Oh, I'm digging a hole, Mr. Curry. Well, please dig on your side of the fence. Oh, never mind that bear, Mr. Fisherman. Let's get you cleaned up. Oh, much better. Oh, Terry. I know you miss your darling Edna, but I have searched high and low across the whole garden. One day. We'll find her. <sighs> oh. <sighs> Thirsty work. Look back! How was Peru? Um, not quite made it there yet. Farewell, Jonathan. I'd been digging for a long time, Aunt Lucy. It was hard to tell whether it was day or night. I saw all manner of strange creatures. Oh. Hello, I'm Paddington. I'm on my way to Peru. Well, there's no need to be like that about it. I didn't know how long I had been in the tunnel. I had started to measure time with marmalade sandwiches. But then I ran out of sandwiches. So I lost track of time and really missed my sandwiches. My mind started to play tricks on me. Oh, just the right butter to marmalade ratio. But every time I felt homesick, I had Jonathan and Judy to keep me company. But eventually, Aunt Lucy, I saw daylight. Oh. Ah. The jungles of Peru. It smells just like I remember. Oh, no. A puma. I had to stay quiet, Aunt Lucy. Phew. At that moment, I thought I was marmalade on toast. <gasps> Paddington? Mr. Curry, what are you doing here? Well, I'm always here. Always in Peru? Peru? Peru. Peru? Peru. This isn't Peru. I'm afraid it is. Well, I'm afraid it isn't. I'm afraid it is. This is nonsense. No, it's Peru. Enough! What are you doing in my greenhouse? Why do you have a greenhouse in Peru? This isn't Peru! Huh? Oh. I'm very sorry, Mr. Curry. I've accidentally dug a tunnel from Mr. Brown's garden into your greenhouse. <sighs> are you angry? Or is it just very hot in here? Both! I'm very sorry that I trespassed, Mr. Curry. I thought I was exploring. It turns out I'm not exploring after all. Edna? Excuse me? Where did you find her? Oh, she was in the tunnel. Paddington, I haven't seen Edna since I was a young man in my fifties. I spent years searching. I explored the whole garden. So perhaps by finding, um, e e Edith? Edna. Edna. I am an explorer after all. Yes, Paddington. I rather think you are. Is there anything I can do in return? Well, there might be one thing. If you don't mind, I'd like to take a photo to show Jonathan and Judy. I believe the expression is, say cheese. Cheese! cheese. So I didn't make it to Peru, Aunt Lucy. Yeah. I did make Terry and Edna very happy. <laughs> Mr. Curry, too. And I did rather enjoy being an explorer for the day. Love from Paddington. <laughs>